Hello everyone and uh, welcome uh, to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed. I'm Elastic Certified and uh, Expert. Uh, in the past, we did uh, um, a training series for the uh, Elastic Certified Analyst exam. And uh, in this new series, we will uh, prepare for the Elastic Certified Observability Engineer uh, uh, exam. So if you want to learn about uh, observability uh, in uh, Elasticsearch and the different use cases, and also if you want to prepare for the exam then you are in the uh, in the right uh, in the right place so uh, before we start i uh, just want to mention that uh, elastic certified uh, engineering exam is uh, currently using the version 8.8 uh, .8. so uh, before we start you have to have your own uh, environment to um, do uh, the training and for this reason so you have to go and download the uh, kibana if you just if you just Google uh, download Kibana, you will redirect you to this page. Uh, you choose your platform, and if you just download like this, it will um, get you the latest version, which is not the case for our uh, training. So we have to go uh, the other uh, or the past uh, releases. So Kibana, and here you search for uh, the right version. So when we say this 8.8, .8, you go here and you uh, click uh, download and here you choose the right uh, OS or the right uh, package for your OS. Uh, the same with Elasticsearch. So you, 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 you Google download Elasticsearch and it will redirect you to the main page of uh, Elasticsearch or where you can download the package, not the latest version. We uh, want to look for the past, rele past releases. Uh, here you type the, um, uh, the product and here the version and you download um, the same uh, version 8.8 .8. uh, the minor version it doesn't matter uh, it should be 8.8 .8. once uh, you download you uh, you go and uh, unzip uh, the file and you start uh, Elasticsearch and also at the same time you start Kibana so from the binary so uh, we give it a few seconds until uh, it uh, starts. So we will see. So it's starting now Elasticsearch. It is checking all the, uh, as you can see, all the packages. Everything is ready. Perfect. So you see, okay, so Elasticsearch is... Okay, so the first thing when you start Kibana or when you start Elasticsearch, sorry, it will uh, generate this information. So for you, so uh, we, need it, we need it later. So you have to uh, copy paste. So I'm sorry, one second. All right, so we have a default password for Elastic. So here is the uh, super uh, user Elastic, and this is the password. Uh, we have the uh, HTTP uh, 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 fingerprint of, oh, sorry, the fingerprint of the uh, CA certificate or certificate authority. And also here we have a token to configure, uh, to configure um, uh, Kibana. So at the same time, so we start uh, Kibana. So as you can see here, we have this uh, address, so let me copy this address. If we go to here to the browser and we Google, so here it will ask for the uh, enrollment uh, token. So if we come back to the token here, I will just save it. Oh, sorry, I have to go and copy. To go copy this again. Yes, it's here. So, uh, it's here. So let me just remove, remove this, and we we'll paste it. And from there, we will copy the. I will copy the token like this. Let me, let me save the file I will go here and paste the the token so click on configure elastic and here we go 
if uh, everything is okay it will uh, start the uh, configuration so you have now now uh, both Elasticsearch and Kibana up and running and here it will ask for the username and the password so let me let me copy the uh, the password of Elastic again so I have it here and also you have to make sure that you copy it in another uh, in another file like this you you'll be able to find it so here click login and here we go elastic is uh, is up and running right so this is uh, the environment it will not take you it will take few seconds or few minutes to set up the environment and you uh, you should be ready right uh, so now let's jump to the topics and see what we are going to cover during this uh, training um, another thing that I want to mention about the exam itself, uh, the duration. So it's three hours. So you have uh, three uh, three hours to uh, to pass the uh, the exam. Uh, also, uh, I want to mention that you will get between nine to eleven questions or scenarios. So Elastic will give you scenarios or problems or real use cases, and you will be able to or you. Um, uh, solve these issues or you solve this uh, 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 you, you solve these problems so some some scenarios you have elastic search and you implement there implement them there and some others like you have to go to Kibana and search for the uh, uh, for the solution like they ask you about something and you go to Kibana whatever in observability dashboard whatever like we will see the different topics and different use cases and uh, and you go back to the platform or the exam platform and you write your answer there with that being said uh, let's talk about the uh, or let's jump to the topics so we have uh, uptime uh, usually uh, if you're not uh, familiar with the uptime it's um, uh, if you have server if you have service if you have a website so you will send um, a ping you will send a request you will send a check every five seconds every 10 seconds every one second is depend and you check if the service is up and running or no. Uh, for this, we use uh, Heartbeat. So Heartbeat is one of the uh, beats. Uh, and also, if you're not familiar with beats, beats it's a lightweight agent from Elastic. It's open source uh, where you can download it in your uh, machine or uh, and you configure um, ECP, uh, ECMP or TCP or HTTP. Like you have the three um, uh, protocols that you can uh, check if your service or if your server is up uh, or down um, so here the uh, the uh, the uh, http or this is the uh, heartbeat uh, if you configure or download that's what we are going to do now or next um, the first is uh, download or we download the heartbeat and we configure uh, all the three and uh, in kibana itself we have uh, we have uptime so if you go to if you go to Kibana and go here to observability, so as you can see here, we have uh, different uh, features in observability. We're going to focus uh, in this training just on the observability. And if you go all the way down here, you have you have uptime. So as you can see here, it's empty. Uh, we did not do anything. But uh, once we install and configure Heartbeat, you will see a lot of things coming on here. Um, this is about the uh, the hertz bit. Uh, after that, uh, another another point or another important topic in the observability is uh, metrics. Sorry, so um, uh, we uh, install Elastic Agent. So we will see how to install uh, uh, Elastic Agent and how we do uh, configure Elastic Agent to collect specific metrics from uh, from uh, each server. So we we want to or. We have different uh, capabilities or we can or let's say uh, collect metrics about the disk about the cpu about like everything happening in the uh, in our server or in our endpoint we will be able to uh, to collect it um, the same uh, we have a metrics app in kibana so it's the same here in the uh, um, uh, in the app uh, or in the observability we will be able to see the uh, the metrics coming here and also we have dashboard we have uh, um, other let's say detections that related to the uh, to the observability or uh, rules um, yeah and and here also the last point here is uh, 
how to uh, define or how to use the predefined uh, machine learning uh, um, using these metrics. So uh, this will help a lot to detect or to, uh, um, let's say, create a profile for your server and uh, predict or detect any malicious uh, any any suspicious activity in term of metrics happening in this uh, in this servers in this several endpoints. After that, we have uh, we have logging, so we uh, gonna use the same agent, which is Elastic agent. Like here, we collect the metrics. Here, we will collect the logs. We will see how we configure uh, the uh, logging in the uh, Elastic agent. How we define the path that we want to collect the agent uh, or that we want to configure our agent to collect uh, we want to collect apache logs we want to collect i don't know uh, authentication logs so we can configure uh, elastic agent to collect a specific um, uh, server or a specific logs from this uh, server um, we have different different uh, integrations so if we go here to for example to the configuration of um, uh, of elastic agents we did not do any installation so it is gonna be um, uh, empty but if we go to the uh, to the integrations here so we have a lot of uh, integration as it's mentioned here for uh, 8.8 .8 version we have more than three uh, 147 um, uh, integration and this uh, like in the cloud or in a network or so you have a lot of options here we will see how we how we define uh, or how we enable a configuration um, or integration in the uh, uh, in the uh, uh, elastic agent so i have mentioned that we want to collect apache logs so you have uh, integration with uh, with apache and if you if you open for example the integration here or if you click you will you will see a definition here and the capabilities and also uh, you will see all the, uh, for example, here the dashboard or uh, what we are going to collect exactly. All right, um, next. Okay. Yeah, so we will use um, perfect. So this is also uh, can, um, like I have mentioned the, the exam. So sometimes you get scenario that you need to implement in the in, in Elasticsearch or in Kibana. And sometimes you have questions or problems and you go to uh, uh, Kibana and you search for the answer also we will see this uh, in uh, 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 next next videos uh, also as you can see here we have uh, or we have predefined uh, machine learning job we will see how we um, how we define this or how we enable this uh, predefined machine learning and how you use them how we use them uh, we have next APM or APM is uh, short for uh, application performance uh, monitoring so if you have an application whatever is in Java in Python uh, GS whatever the technology you can use uh, uh, APM to do uh, or to integrate or you integrate your elastic agent with this application we will see uh, uh, we have a different um, uh, kind of integration it depend on the technology that you use in your application and you want to uh, get traces and get uh, or know what happened inside uh, your application. So the APM is really, really powerful uh, feature in uh, uh, in observability or in Kibana. Uh, we will see how we uh, configure the APM server and the, uh, the APM agent and how we ship the uh, telemetry or how we ship the, the data from your application or the traces from your application to, uh, to, uh, to, to Elasticsearch and how we answer uh, we answer uh, uh, questions right um so we will see also um okay uh, we will see how we ingest or how we define ingest node and also how to define a, a pipeline uh, in uh, in kibana or in elastic search so sometimes um sometimes like we ship uh, logs from let's say from switch or from firewall or whatever and um, the data, like you want to parse it, you want to make it ready before you index it in Elasticsearch. So this is a really good feature or uh, uh, it's really a, a powerful feature from Elastic where you can uh, ingest or modify um, your uh, data or your logs on the fly, like before you index it or before you store it in Elasticsearch, you can 
uh, modify it and after that you uh, you save it when i say modify your data so you you can change the type you can change the format you can remove some files you can extract some informations from the file, from the log itself so you can do a lot of things that we we're gonna we're gonna see in the details in the next videos um okay yes here so all uh all this point that i was talking about we're gonna see in the uh, in the in this uh, in this topic and uh, finally we will uh, finish with working with observability data so now you install your elastic agent you configure uh, uh, your apm you have everything now how to use or to make this data more useful how to make make it more easier for you or for your team to uh, to monitor your infrastructure to do troubleshooting so in this we will see how we uh, gonna use uh, the anomaly observability or the also the machine learning um, jobs in uh, in Elasticsearch. Like we will use the predefined as is mentioned here, and also we will define our own um, our own machine learning jobs to uh, to help us for uh, troubleshooting or to detect any uh, any problem in our infrastructure. Um, another point is the ELM or Index Lifecycle Management. Um, you know, in uh, in Elasticsearch as other uh, uh, other technologies, like uh, we can store our data. Uh, uh, we are limited with the disk. We are limited with the budget. So um, we have the three tier storage. We have hot, warm, cold. I mean, I want to keep our data searchable or uh, hot in the hot tier for three days and move it after that for one week in warm. And after that, for let's say one month or ten months or twelve or eleven months in the in the in the cold tier, and after that, uh, remove it. But before you remove it, make sure that you take a snapshot, for example. All of all of this, we can uh, we can define a ELM that like you not like you you don't need to do it manually, right? So you go here and you define your ELM for every index or for every index ma uh, pattern or. Uh, we will see the different ways to define uh, the ELM and it will be uh, automatically. Um, we will see uh, the others. Also, it's really powerful uh, thing in Elastic. Like uh, uh, I want, for example, to get a notification when the disk usage is more than 85%, 90% or the same for CPU, the same for um, uh, everything. Like we can, whatever the metric that we are collecting, we can define or we can create an uh, alert for uh, this uh, metric and also we have integration of, like we we uh, we can receive the alerts in Elasticsearch itself like in Kibana or we can send it to Slack, Teams, send email, um, integrate with a third, third party tool like to automate the response or to do whatever you want. And finally we will finish with the creating dashboard, the thing that we already saw in the previous training in the uh, Elastic uh, Analyst uh, exam. Uh, but also we will uh, we will see it again uh, again here so this what we are going to talk uh, i will make uh, a video for each topic so uh, uh, please do let me know if you have any problem or if you face any uh, any issue during the configuration i will be more than happy uh, to help uh, with that being said uh, we'll see you in the uh, next video